Good day everybody, this is Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to talk about hypothesis test for population mu. Me, uh, but before I get started, I want to mention that please subscribe to my channel at You Can Do Math because I have solved all kinds of statistics problems just for you. So whatever you got to lose, you will get access, free access to all kinds of solved problems. So please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. So suppose I want to find the mean age of all students at a college. I cannot reach out to all the students. We select a simple random sample of students, n equal to 36, sample size 36. Suppose the mean of this sample works out to 21. I hypothesize, make an educated guess of the population mean age mu sub zero as 20.5. So my null hypothesis or my status quo is h sub zero colon mu equal to 20.5. My alternate hypothesis h sub a is colon mu greater than 20.5. Now we want to standardize or divide the difference of the sample mean x bar, which is 21 from the hypothesized population mean mu 20.5. Hypothesized mean uh, or standardized mean, we want to divide the difference of x bar minus mu zero by the standard deviation of the sample means. The standard deviation of the sample means is given by sigma divided by square root of n where sigma is the population standard deviation. Uh, I want to mention that the standard deviation of the sample means, which is sigma divided by square root of n, is also called the standard error of the mean. Suppose sigma population standard deviation is given as one year. So I calculate the test statistic, which is a characteristic of the sample, as sample mean 21 minus 20.5 inside parenthesis in the numerator divided by inside parenthesis my sigma population standard deviation is 1 divided by square root of 36 which is 0.5 in the numerator divided by 1 over square root of 36 is 6 which finally simplifies to 6 times 0.5 is 3. This means the sample mean x bar 21 is located three times the standard deviation of the sampling distribution or three standard error of the mean about above the hypothesized population mean mu zero of 20.5 so i've drawn a standard normal curve which is a bell shepherd curve at the center where the relative frequency is the highest this is uh, the mean in the uh, horizontal axis mu is zero z is zero z is a standard normal variable sigma of this standard normal distribution is one so what is the probability of getting a z value, that is a test statistic, as extreme as 3 or more extreme than 3 if the null hypothesis is true? That is what we want to find out. Uh, we can do this uh, by using TI-84 calculator. So in the TI-84 calculator, we'll press the second key and then the verse key. And then we'll scroll down to number 2, which is normal CDF, and then we will hit enter. So we'll get a screen with lower. Lower is from where we are going to start. We're going to find the area to the right of z equal to 3 under the standard normal curve, which stretches to a very large number on the right hand side. For So my lower value or the left boundary is 3 because I want the area to the right of 3. My upper boundary is a very large number, which I have indicated by capital E. 99 means exponent 99 or 1 followed by 99 zeros which is a large number so my for my upper i'm going to first invoke the capital small capital letter e how do i do that i press the second button then the comma button which will get the small capital e then i'll type 99 that is 1 followed by 99 zeros my mu standard normal curve is 0 sigma is 1 I go down to PEST and hit enter and enter. So probability of Z greater than 3 is actually 0 0.001. Okay. Suppose the level of significance alpha 
alpha in this case alpha level of significance is 0 0.05 what is level of significance it is the maximum probability of making a type 1 error now a type 1 error is committed when we reject 80 even though in reality 80 is true that is we are taking a maximum risk of making a wrong decision of rejecting 80 when in reality 80 is true that risk maximum risk we are taking is 0 0.05 now the p-value or the probability of z greater than 3 is 0 0.001 which in this case is less than the alpha value of 0 0.05 therefore our decision is at alpha equal to 0 0.05 reject 80 and our conclusion is at alpha equal to 0 0.05 there is enough evidence to support the alternate hypothesis that mu is greater than 20 point I'll stop here today. If you have any question, you can always write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel because I've solved all kinds of stat and math problems just for you. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time. Bye.